we're getting to the answer now. That's the good thing, right? We're getting, <clears throat> we're getting near the answer. So the, the third design flaw that we've talked about is, is this sort of foundational idea that engagement drives results. And you'll remember as we went back to my story that I told about my experience in my organization, clearly that something broke. Now, in our, in our case, it was a happy sort of circumstance. No HR people got fired for spending that kind of money on an engagement survey because we were making a pile of money in profit. So they were willing to sort of overlook the fact that our model seemed to have been broken. The promise we made didn't seem to play out. And so we got, we got off easy, but clearly there's something going on. And I, we've heard lots of stories from clients and colleagues over the years of the opposite being the case. Whereas we've invested a bunch of energy in driving up engagement scores, engagement scores, driving them up and up and up, but that performance doesn't follow. And there's, some, you know, there, there's definite breaks when you start looking at and correlating those things. And so we want to start, I, I get all of the cartoon slides. And so, um, I don't know if that's good or bad to think about that. So when you look at this, you all certainly know, I don't know if you know, that, that is a stork on the left, and that is a baby on the right. And hopefully everybody in here is familiar with sort of the myth that storks bring babies. You know, we see the picture of the stork flying, carrying the baby, drop it down the chimney. That myth, I had, we did some research on this, and where that myth came from is it, I mean, literally it's centuries old. And it's, it's been around for a long time. And when you look into the legend behind the myth, the way that it played out was that in, I think it was Northern Europe, there were every year, or over time, what they found, I guess, the people in Northern Europe is that they would watch. And that it seemed that there were a linkage between the number of storks and the number of babies. And so what would happen is on any given year, they would see the stork sort of, the stork population, there's lots and lots of storks, and then nine months later, there'd be lots and lots of babies. And so there was sort of this assumption that storks were bringing babies, right? So people were putting that, that there was sort of a causal relationship of some sort, something going on with the storks that was causing these babies to show up. Now, you are a really smart group, as we established earlier, so clearly you know that storks don't cause babies to be born. We all know this. But the legend obviously has, has sort of sustained over time. Well, what happens when you dig in on the actual legend is that what they found is that, yes, the stork population and the baby population were fluctuating together. But one was not causing the other. What was happening is that there was actually a third factor that was happening in the background that nobody was aware of or paying attention to until much later. And that was the quality of the harvest. So what was happening is, storks, for those of you that don't know, are migratory birds. And migratory birds will move to where the resources are, where the food is. So when an area experiences great conditions, they have a great harvest, there's lots of grain and stuff for the storks to eat, so you'll see a lot of storks show up. The other thing that happens during great harvest is that people are happy. And there's celebrating and merrymaking that goes on. And apparently the merrymaking that goes on is the sort that generally involves alcoholic beverages and some sort of activity that leads to babies. <laughs> so when, when it, if you just looked at it on the surface, you can see why people would say, geez, storks going up, babies going up. There's some, some kind of linkage there. In fact, what was going on is there was a third factor playing out in the background that was actually causing both. We believe the same sort of thing, and we've seen this through our research and experience. The same sort of thing is playing out with engagement and business results. In, in our situation, in our workplaces, what you're seeing is the stork representing engagement and the baby representing results. And we follow, we like to watch. We watch our engagement scores go up, and a lot of times engagement scores going up and results going up will correlate. We saw it in my company. Over two years, you would have said, hey, that really works. I've talked to other people that'll see that happen over multiple years. But then something breaks, and there's something else going on in the background. And what we believe, and what we've found, and Sai alluded to it, is that the harvest piece that's happening in the background when it comes to engagement is personal accountability. 